All right, folks, Hunter Bob here. <laughs> So Ben, what have we witnessed today? Taco Bell. All right, guys, if you don't know what you're looking at, those two tanks right there are my two brand new filters that I built. Um, I guess that's my secondary and third filter actually, because you saw the first one in my first uh, in my test run video and everything. That's the first one. Um, basically, uh, the idea here is that first filter carries big chunks of wood and stuff for um, big particle, I guess, collection and tar and everything. It goes through my radiator into the bottom of that filter. Give you a close up of that. <clears throat> and to the bottom of that filter is a layer of mesh right here being supported and on top of there is about 25 pounds of wood pellets so that gets the finer stuff and then it comes up to here through a la another layer of mesh and, a, and that filter from a shop back up into here which is going to be full of um, those uh, scrubber pads aluminum or stainless steel or copper or whatever kind of dish scrubber pads or whatever that I can get for cheap uh, the cheapest ones that I can find I'll get those and fill that thing full of them so let me show you how, uh, basically, take this thing apart backwards and show you how it goes. So here's the top. Same lid I used on my old filter. Actually, same bucket and everything. I just turned that little nozzle around because uh, it used to be hanging off this way. And my blower was so heavy that it was like levering this out of here and breaking that seal. So just turned it around and resealed it. <clears throat> Going into this filter. Um... Pretty self-explanatory, I don't have the media right now. Got to clean all that crap up and uh, put the media in. Take it off so you can see. Um, you see that board down there? There's another board on this side. And the hole drilled through that board, the lid, the bottom of this bucket, and the board right here for the air to go through. And between every layer I just said, there's caulk or silicone and four screws clamping everything together. So that'll be, that's my last filter, going to be full of um, fine catching, uh, fine media filter for catching fine particles. So then there's the top of the shop vac filter. Uh, sorry about the poor lighting in here. That'll get sucked up into the hole in the bottom of there. So it'll be going through a shop vac filter before it even goes into uh, the fine media filter. Uh, these sticks right here are just to hold down this mesh. Man, let me get a flashlight. It's terrible lighting right here. So you see that mesh from a screen door, and then underneath that mesh are the wood um, wood pellets that I used in my last test run. The wood pellets that I repurposed because they were terrible. They uh, there I did a smell test after the test run because there was just too much tar being produced, and figured out pretty quickly that. Uh, the reason they were so cheap is because they were probably about 50% pine sawdust. So that was pretty great. Not going to use those. They're, about, they're right there in the bag. I bought them from Rule King. Uh, probably my fault for cheaping out, but you know how it is. Um, so basically, that's full of those repurposed uh, uh, bleh, wood pellets. And then going backwards now, it comes through that too, goes... Or, comes through that tube like this. So here's my first filter, the first filter it comes through after going through my cyclone filter, or my cyclone and uh, I guess uh, condensation collection tank. That's full of my big wood chunks from my, um, the, they had bridging issues with these wood chunks so I repurposed them for that filter. I'll probably fill the rest of this up with sticks from the yard or something like that because it's not full all the way. Maybe fill up the rest of it with uh, more wood pellets. Um, those are kept from falling through this hole right here by actually my old ash grate, the one made of aluminum that got a hole burned through it. I patched that hole up with some uh, pieces of wire and uh, so big stuff won't fall through and just put it right in there to, uh, block, to block the wood from falling down. 
So uh, that's pretty much it. Filters can be made any way possible with PVC pipes. Don't have to use buckets. Don't have to do any of that stuff. Uh, just as long as you use the right media, it'll be fine. Right media and it's airtight, it'll be fine. Um, so what all do I need to do before I get my next video? My next video should probably be a test run. Um, actually, it will be a test run probably at the end of the day so you can actually see the flame and see if it's blue, orange, yellow, whatever. Um, and uh, so what do I need to do? I need to cap off the ends of my pipes, obviously. Uh, the ends of my pipes and radiators with some sort of removable cap so I can get in there and clean them out. I need to seal up everything. I need to make gaskets for these lids out of silicone. Uh, I need to, I'm going to silicone up all my welds even though I didn't find anything anywhere where it was leaking out. Uh, I'm still going to seal them up anyway with silicone for a uh, good measure. And then I'm going to sand all the rust off everything where it's rusty and paint it. I'm going to paint everything from my first radiator to this last bucket if I decide to paint the buckets at all. But I'm going to paint that radiator, that cyclone filter and filter and that radiator white for sure. And I'm going to paint my uh, cyclone filters over there and my main unit and hopper black. I'm going to paint them black because uh, I figure they're going to get so hot the paint will burn off anyway and turn them black. So therefore that it was blend in. <clears throat> but these really, need to, really do need to be white so they reflect the heat and all that stuff from the sun so they don't get too hot. So uh, other than that, uh, I'd also need to get probably a dimmer switch. I've been looking into it. Uh, get like a dimmer switch for a household lamp for my blower so I can adjust the speed because last time it was just way too, way too powerful using that shop back motor. And if you want to see how I built that blower, it's right over here on the, on the counter. Uh, you can watch the video where I take apart the shop back and turn it into a blower. So there's, there's that. It'll connect it into that pipe. Uh, so I guess uh, I try to keep this video short because I didn't want to waste your time. Uh, so, uh, yep, next video should be a shop or should be a uh, test run, as I said earlier. And if you got any comments, questions, whatever, I love hearing them, I love answering them. Put them in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe, it really helps out. Thanks for watching.